Welcome back, super friends and super family. I'm Nick. This is my girlfriend, Wynn, and today we are reacting to Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. We're continuing our reactions in our journey into the MCU. As always, you want to watch along our full unedited reaction that is up on our Patreon. That's, of course, the best way to support the channel. Thank you so much to everyone who does. It's also where you can watch next week's MCU movie reaction, Spider-Man Homecoming. I think that's the next one in the order that's available for early access. Let's just get into it. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Oh, I thought it was Missouri on another planet. <laughs> you know the song? My mom used to play this song for me. Really? Come on. How about feeling? I was afraid it wouldn't take to the soil, but it rooted quickly. Is one of the stones. Oh! across the universe. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, but I like the way you say it. I can't believe I fell in love with a space man. Oh my gosh, this is parents. We are way zoomed in here. Look at this. It's not a thing, it's a leaving thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I like the font and with the white That's background. That's the actor in the thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kurt Russell. I swear the colors feel so vibrant for this movie, like even more so than the first one. I guess we're both doing guns now. I just didn't know that. <laughs> the rocket's arrow rigs. It hurts. Let him show off his muscles. And his tattoo is cool. <laughs> <laughs> My nipples are no <laughs> Listen to tunes while we work. How is that a priority? Blame Quinn. Mm. Actually, agree with Drax on this. That's hardly important. I think it's important. Understand that you're being very serious right now. You winking? Damn it! I'm using my left eye. <laughs> Not much self-awareness. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm mm. Here we go. Showtime. Well, that's intense. It is intense. Okay. Knife? Not gonna work! <laughs> okay, so music! I love the framing of this shot. Dancing. <laughs> he loves music too. Yes. Nice. <laughs> That's great. It's That's really great. It's a cute intro, yes? <laughs> Guardian of the Galaxy has the best music. I think so too. The best use of music. I think it has. It's not my favorite soundtrack, like the original music, but the songs they use. I mean, yeah, really like the good. use of the music in the movie is really good. Yeah. <laughs> it's like stop dancing and help. <laughs> That's so cute. I love how we're focusing on him and not the action too. <laughs> So adorable. Uh, that's a great callback joke too. No, no, spit it out, spit it out. Come on. <laughs> it's like us with boba every day. You're not gonna eat that, are you? Oi! Really? That's a little bit. <laughs> oh my god, that's right into the danger zone. <laughs> He would, be, he would be the one who finished this fight. Oh, hits not. the camera? <laughs> Did he just hit the camera? <laughs> oh. <laughs> he ruined his groove. It's too thick to be pierced on the outside. I must cut through it from the inside. Are you serious? No, no. <laughs> he laughs. He laughs. <laughs> it is like a video game. I mean, brave. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's less... A chaotic inside. Yeah, yeah, he can calm down in there. I mean, it's really tough. Go for the eye, then. The color, that look good, huh? Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, what? This is why you oh. should be a sword person. It's like it spits like glittery fire or something. Oh. Wow. Oh, there you go. 
You wait that long to use your sword? It's so helpful. Yeah. I think Drax softened it. They <laughs> <laughs> think he cut it. Yes. They think he yes. cut it. <laughs> single-handedly vanquish the <laughs> They're easily offended. The cost of transgression is death. Oh. Thank you. We could not risk the lives of our own sovereign. The sovereign's citizen lives are too valuable. It's born exactly as designed. Impeccable, both physically and mentally. And severely repressed. I guess I prefer to make people the old-fashioned way. Oh, me too. <laughs> you could give me a history lesson in the archaic ways of our ancestors would be honored, yes, in the name of research. <laughs> Pretty repulsive. Um, <laughs> run into that kind of casual. <laughs> Hello, Aww. sis. Family reunion, yay! <laughs> I see it within you, an unorthodox genealogy. A hybrid that seems reckless. So she's an advanced 23 in me? People were conceited douchebags. But that isn't true at all. <laughs> you want to buy some batteries? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love Drax's laugh, too. He has a great laugh. Hey, let's get Baldy to Xandar and collect that bounty. Finally, like, got it together as a team and work for a good cause, but no, they're still silly. <laughs> I mean, do you remember the line they said at the end of the first one? They're like, I forget well, exactly. A little bit of little good, little bad. Yeah, yeah, that's the little bad right there. <laughs> Happy childhood for little baby Groot. That's stuff about my father. I know you're sensitive about that. Sorry if it seemed like I was flirting with the high priestess. I don't care if you are. You know. You do care. Yes. So sorry. Gamora is not the one for you. <laughs> those who dance and those who do not. Mm -hmm. I first met my beloved at a war rally. The most melodic song in the world. She wouldn't even tap her foot. One might assume she was dead. <laughs> would make my nether regions and go. Oh, please no, please no. You just need to find a woman who is pathetic. Like you. <laughs> That's the best advice. <laughs> I'm hungry. Can we say that you are rude? No. Who are you to talk? And I hate you. You hate me? I will be free of these shackles soon enough and I will. You're gonna live out the rest of your days in a prison on Xandar. Fleet approaching from the rear. Rocket stole some of their batteries. Dude! <laughs> he didn't steal some of those. I don't know why they're after us. What a mystery. <laughs> Rocket should at least tell them so they leave early. Of course, of course. Priestess talked down to us. Now I'm teaching her a lesson. The sovereign have mistaken your intentions and they're trying to kill us. Exactly. Sarcastic! I use a sarcastic voice! Now I look fool! I'm gonna kill some guys. Ah! I mean, if you kill some of the sovereign, they're never gonna forgive you. Ah! Ah! You're not killing any. <laughs> it's remotely piloted. Oh. oh. Damn it. <laughs> they're just playing they're a like video at game. Home. Yeah. Yes, they're in a massive arcade. Look at this. It's like a Ready Player One. It is. It is like that. You're right. We hire them and they steal from us. Insult. Fire with the intent to kill. Oh, his face! <laughs> <laughs> He's been waiting! He's been waiting! Bloodthirsty! <laughs> What's the nearest habitable planet? Earth. Bear heart. Okay. How many jumps? Only one, and you have to go through that quantum asteroid. Uh, of course. Will. They're so colorful. You'd be the greatest pilot in the universe. Lucky for us. I am. I Took over. Rocket is! Rocket is really good at this. Flying this rig since I was 10 years old. I was cybernetically engineered the pilot. Who is the better pilot? Is it Rocket? Rocket. I think it is, right? There's gonna be something squishy in your pillowcase. Cause I put a turd in! <laughs> you put your turd in my bed, I shave you. <laughs> It'll be Drax's. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> I have famously huge turds. We're about to die, and this is what we're discussing. Drax will die. He still, no, no, he still have the seven rolls standing back and watch. Yes, I know, I know. <laughs> oh, 
Oh shoot, you're about to lose a prisoner. Oh, doing? it's the guy! It's that same guy! <laughs> oh, she wants to go to the food! <laughs> she must be so hungry! <laughs> what she's gonna do? For emergency or for fun, I like that. Who wrote that? Whoa! You can do this. <laughs> Don't backseat game! Have you done this before? That'll be so Pretty hard to aim. Oh, yes! Get it! No! Yes! You suck, Zylak. Oh, you suck. You died way earlier. <laughs> Son of a... <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. look how many shots that is. That's insane. What happened there? Game Someone over. destroyed all our shit! Yeah, somebody did. Not them. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> what is that? Yeah. Who cares? That's the- You should care! Oh my god. Crap. He's still out- Yeah! <laughs> shit, shit, shit. Oh, oh no, no, no! Nice catch! How could you hold him? Yeah, the how? That's too late of a warning. Yeah, that's like half a second. Oh, oh, oh! That is not the way to be Tarzan. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Could have gotten us to do that. How do you flaunt with what's between your ears instead of what's between your legs? What are between the legs? Had a hand on it. I guarantee I could have landed this ship. Stole Anulax battery. Harbulary battery. <laughs> <laughs> a little man save us by blowing up fifty ships. I like this. You stupid raccoon. Don't call me a raccoon. I'm sorry. I took it too far. Good, this is Trash panda. <gasps> is that better? <laughs> I got no. had it with you. I'm surprised you still stay around. Set me free. You'll need my help. You can run. It looks like so fancy. <gasps> After all these years, I've found you. Oh my gosh. Figured my rugged good looks would make that obvious. <laughs> my name is Ego. That's a good name. And I'm your dad, Peter. Mind blown. Oh. Well, that's the duck that escapes, right? Are those robots or creatures? He doesn't look happy. He does look really unhappy. Yeah. Is he? Maybe he missed cure. cure. <laughs> Or he's rethinking his life choices. I don't know. Never trust you, you know? <laughs> it's been some time. Do you recognize him? Rumble? Yes. Yes. You just lost the business of 99 of them by serving one. I don't give a damn what you think of me! I didn't know what was going on. You didn't know because you didn't want to know. But you'll never hear the horns of freedom when you die, young. And the colors of a gourd will never flash over your grave. You think I take pleasure in exiling you? You're wrong. You broke all our hearts. Seems he's going soft. If he's so soft, why are you whispering for? <laughs> a literal Shit. carpet? A literal carpet <laughs> laid out in front of her? <laughs> How lazy are you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Probably more tired than walking oh shit what can she do now she get away <laughs> i think they ran out of carpet no <laughs> oh no they didn't it just got stuck yondu i have a proposition for you 
Yandu kept you have no clue as to why. Why did he come to Yandu Lane? Skinny little kid who could squeeze into places adults couldn't have made it easier for Thief. It's too useful. I thought Yandu was your father. What? You look exactly alike. <laughs> You're welcome. Even that triangle faced monkey there. It's unlike any other place. Oh. oh, he's touching his nose. Like, do I have a triangle face? Finally, get to be father I've always wanted to be. I'm not buying it. It is a little weird how he suddenly just showed. I am Mantis. Oh, nobody talked to her. She introduced. What are you doing? Hello? Smiling. <laughs> what do you do to make people like you? What if you do it like that? <laughs> Can I bet your puppy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is a little mean. <laughs> oh, she's just laughing. That is cool. Yeah. <laughs> get along, they get along. <laughs> Nobody likes you. <laughs> That's our do have. He owned a magic boat. A talking car. To help him fight crime. I don't know this reference. If he ends up being evil, let's kill him. <laughs> you say like it's so easy. A supportive girlfriend. Leaving me with that fox? He's not a fox. Shoot her, she does anything to suspect. She keep whining. I'm uncertain about parting ways. God, you're like an old woman. Because I'm wise? <laughs> Hope daddy isn't as big of a dick as you, orphan boy. Dang. To get everybody to hate you? Because it's working. He seems sad. He seems sad. Something is wrong? Yeah. What's wrong with Rocket? There's like so much family conflict and friendship conflict, you know? Your antenna, what are they for? Cool and I have a bet. You're not supposed to see. Drax has no filter. Your antenna will feel this and keep you from being decapitated. <laughs> I can feel their feelings. You read mine. Telepaths know thoughts. Empaths feel feelings. Which one is more valuable, actually? Feeling? No, big feeling. I think it's easier to guess someone's emotions. Romantic, sexual love. No, no, I don't. For her. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Imagine Drax watching you during therapy and reacting. I think you're overreacting a little bit. You must be so embarrassed. <laughs> do me, do me, do me. Are you sure? You sure? <laughs> <laughs> He could share that with her. Touch me, and the only thing you're gonna feel is a broken jaw. Would she feel it twice if she was touching her when she got punched? It can make a stubborn person compliant. That's powerful. That's really powerful. Sleep. Wow. Instant. It'd be so useful if you have a newborn baby. What's wrong with you? Oh, no, no. Not good for the keto diet. <laughs> oh my god! It's like home alone Who outside. Set that up? Who set that up? Rocket himself? <laughs> Not a chance with that small target. Ah. <laughs> Rocket is loving this. Rocket is loving this. Oh, that's the last one. Oh, I got so high. Look how high they go. So fast. <laughs> Oof. That must that's be so painful. painful. Come on. You just take out like 50 guys. It's so tough now without all your toys. Are you? You don't know that. <laughs> Wow. Uh, hey there, rat. No one calls him a raccoon. No one. He needs my help. 
They are going to kill him. I want baby Groot. Like, what does baby Groot know? Give me your word, you won't hurt Groot. I'll tell you where the battery is. Not so protective. Quarter mil on the open market. One third of that. Quarter is 25. No. We <laughs> Math is not their strong suit. The Guardians of the Galaxy. The whole dang Nova Corp be on us. Good boy, there would be consequences, they're heroes. Will betrays you, you protect him, like none of the rest of us much matter. Suppose it's time for a change in leadership. You're waiting for this moment. The guy who doesn't know what a quarter is? Peaceful resolution to this, or even a violent one, where I'm standing over there. Not have trusted her, baby Groot. It's not ripe. Drax warned you. Drax warned you. She really killed John Do? He's not dead. He's not dead? No. What technology is that? Look at that. It's so weird. You have your own planet? No larger than your Earth's moon. Oh, well, you must be poor then. Humility. I like it. I too am extraordinarily humble. <laughs> A celestial sweetheart. Like a god. Small G. At least on the days I'm feeling humble as Drax. Drift in the cosmos utterly and entirely alone. Over millions of years, I grew smarter and stronger. We've been alive for millions, millions of, years. of years. There must be some life out there besides just me. Imagine being alone for millions of years. The most minute. Detail. Did you make a penis? <laughs> how could he make a baby with your mother? I don't need to hear how my parents. <laughs> my father would tell the story of impregnating my mother every winter, so <laughs> Earthers have hang ups. Yes, different cultures. I got a penis. Ha! Thank you. <laughs> I wanted to experience what it truly meant to be human. To do that, you'd have to give up your power, though. With Meredith that I first experienced love. I like how you can create these things to uh, like illustrate the story. From that love, Peter. Of a man from Earth who held an infinity stone in his hand without dying. If you loved her, why did you leave her? I mean that's the elephant in the room, right? The timing is a little weird though. <laughs> Who could do that to baby Groot? This is this is I mean obviously, yes. So evil. Oh my gosh, these people they should die again and again and again. Oh dang, look how many of them. All the people who are loyal. Cause you're weak. TASER FACE! He didn't even win the fight. Yeah. TASER FACE? Shoot tasers out of your face? Strikes fear into the hearts of anyone what hears it! Oh, we're terrified. Yeah, okay. They don't agree. <laughs> yeah, they don't agree. TASER FACE! <laughs> 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 He changed the crowd's opinion. What was your second choice? Scrotum hat? <laughs> Live an entire life as a moronic shitbag who thinks Taserface is a cool name. That's a that fact. That's a good line. I want 10% of the take and a couple more things. In 10% pretty low. My sister prevailed. My father would replace a piece of me with machinery. She won again and again and again. She's seeing pain. I know every single day. Life is hard, too. Yeah. Anyways, happy yeah, trail. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, say goodbye and leave. She's not one who dances. Why didn't you come back? Why did you send Yondu? Couldn't stand to set foot on an earth where she wasn't living. You can't imagine what that's I like. I know exactly what that feels like. Yeah, he was there. I had to watch her die. Give me the chance to be the father she would want me to be. Oh, yes! Yes! Hang on, the first try. Concentrate. You can do it. Bring it back. Wow, wow. Yes. Blanket. 
much. Yeah, literally like he always wanted as a kid. Oh my god. How'd you get to this weird, dumb planet? <laughs> weird, dumb planet? Don't be a hater. He raised me by hand and kept me as his own. So you're a pet. People usually want cute pets. Why would you go in such a hideous way? <laughs> We're horrifying to look at. <laughs> oh, you're gonna hurt her. But that's a good thing. How is that a good thing? When you're ugly and someone loves you, you know they love you for who you are. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Beautiful people never know who to trust. <laughs> Attractions like beautiful people like me. There's something I must tell you. Bad timing. I'm learning many things like I'm a pet and ugly. You're not ugly. Drax. What are you talking about? Man. <laughs> a dog would not invite a flea to live on his back. True. What were you about to say to Drax before I walked out? That was private. Hey, what about this little plant? Can I smash it with a rock? No. Who would want to do that? It's too adorable to kill. Okay, even he thinks that. No offense, but your employees are a bunch of jerks. That is true. I was a Cree battle slave for 20 years when the car freed me. Said all I needed to do was adhere to the code. But you treated the code like I loved. was young, greedy, and stupid. He regretted his life choices, like you said. Yeah. We weren't so different from you and your friends. The only family I ever had. You might deserve this, but I don't. We gotta get out of here. It's so because he didn't get a second chance, you know. Like he said, he was young and stupid. Yeah. Went off with his old man. Ego? Yeah, the day for dumbass name. He was skinny. Could fit into places we couldn't. I got an idea on how to get out of here. We're gonna need your little friend. Groot is way too cool for you guys. Me. I know. But it's all wrong. It's got to be Can't wait to see them die. <gasps> That's so mean. That's so mean. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Prototype fin. The thing I wore on my head. You got it? So cute. <laughs> Hopefully, you get the right thing. Is he holding a doll? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these guys, they're all like they're babies. bully they're babies. What? Yeah. That's Mondo. It's a prototype thing. Just say a thingy that like on my head. <laughs> oh my god. It's a fin, bro. That's Vorker's eye. That's something Rocket would want, though. Leaves. Go. Look again. I think Rocket told him to here. get that. Yes. <laughs> See? Rocket wants that. He's not gonna know oh my God. where his eye is! <laughs> <laughs> it's such a Rocket thing. That's a desk. That's so loud. This big. <gasps> <laughs> Whose is that? Just agreed to never discuss this. Whose toe was that? How did he cut it off? What happened uh, there? Yeah. That means he can be dangerous. I hope he cut the toe off taser face. Cut his nose. The music epic. I know, so intense. Yes, 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 yes. Don't wake up, don't wake up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <gasps> I didn't mean to do a mutant. They killed all my friends. Get the third quadrant ready for release. You got any clones of Quill's old music on the ship? I think Rocket's taste has changed since hanging out with Peter. <laughs> <laughs> You're in trouble. That is so powerful. It looks that more advanced, thing. right? Yeah, Rocket fixed it for him, right? I think so, yeah. But it's so much bigger, you know? Like, it looks fancier. <sighs> Christmas. <laughs> Were you having a nightmare? I hope so. Uh, He's got it! Yondu's got the fear! He realized it was a threat and didn't lock it up? Smart. Smart. Quarter. Come a little bit closer. Oh, <laughs> so cool. I swear, <laughs> the way they do the slow-mo with the music make everything cooler. <laughs> I love that close-up on the tip. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, it's so effective, I swear. It's like, it's second. I mean, come on, come on. Rocket's just like, my job's done. <laughs> I mean, come on, come on. Oh my god, so many guys. <laughs> look at this, look at this. Oh, that, oh yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. yes. We've been waiting for this moment. Give him pain, give him pain. Yes. Huh. Yes! That was cathartic. <gasps> you hear that sound? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang. Light it up for you. He killed through the security cameras. So Holy. Good. Having so much fun. <laughs> Revenge is best served with an arrow. That look cool. Yeah. I mean, he can literally take. How many guys is that in the whole crew? A hundred? Two hundred? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> A little quick and painless, but all right. Yips gonna blow. Oh no. Oh, no. oh why would he do that? <laughs> I think I, he wanted to stop this life. Not the whole shit. He did a little kill thing. Still alive? Yeah. His face is gonna get even uglier. Taser face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a bad way to go God. out. Someone laughing in your face oh, as yes. you die. Nice. Healthy 50 jump out to do 700! Oh, no, no, what? The face on oh. the chain! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Are their heads gonna explode? Dance with me. I'm not going to dance with you. They like each other though. I'm gonna do something about this unspoken thing. What unspoken thing? Dig each other, but never say it because if they do, the ratings would go down. <laughs> Something about this place doesn't feel right. What are you talking about? Trust her instinct. She's a woman. You're jealous because I'm part God and you like when I'm the weak. Why do you talk like that? One person is willing to open themselves and the other person is a jerk. Finally found my family. Don't you understand? Thought you already had. Not the best aim, but a lot of passion. <laughs> Psychopath. <laughs> the best word for her. She's crazy. She is crazy. <laughs> Holy, look at that. What gun is that? That's from she... the ship. She's literally carrying the ship's gun on her shoulder. <laughs> I thought Nick Fury with a rocket launcher is intense. That's intense. I feel bad for his sister. <laughs> oh, oh, dang. Saving her. She's gonna kill you the moment she has the chance. She malfunctioned. She malfunctioned. Me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I just saved you. It's just a sister fight. They're gonna be happy after this. She just saved you. Yeah, she can't really do it. I'm not the one that just flew across the universe just because I wanted to win. The one who wanted to win, and I just wanted a sister! Oh my gosh. She, she just... 
Where is the broken inside? Yeah. And I was pulled my eye from my head and my brain from my skull. Because of you. I mean, he was horrible to both of us. Looking glass, a favorite of your mom. My lady is the sea. Sea calls the sailor back, but that's not his place. Death will remain a stranger to both of us. I'm immortal. Mm hmm. Now that's something to find out about yourself. Well, get ready for an 800-foot statue of Pac-Man with Skeletor and Heather... Some weird shit. <laughs> I believe that. Such a fast learner. Drax, we need to talk. I feel like a woman with some meat on her bones. Telling you I found you disgusting. Imagine being with you physically. Drax, that's not... <laughs> that's so rude, man. Oh my gosh. You are in danger. Just go if you had it. Everything around us, temporary. That's how he think about the white mom. Life it was all so disappointing. Then he was let down by life. I had found meaning. I like that visual. Eternity. Oh my god. How can you see that? Oh! I need to get off this planet. Oh, yes. yes, yes, that's a good instinct. <gasps> <laughs> I'm surprised they're alive, man. Anyway, before I was so rude. <laughs> time, I was a federal express man. What was that alien? Oh. This ego's bad news. We're here to save Quill. For honor, for love. So I can prove I'm better than him. <laughs> or this over him forever. <laughs> A petty motivation, but we'll take it. You can fool yourself and everyone else, but you can't fool me. I know you play like you're the meanest and the hardest, but actually you're the most scared of Reminds you how big and empty that hole inside you actually is. I My own damn parents who sold me to old little baby into slavery. Oh. You're me. Oh my gosh. the same face. Kind that's about to go fight a planet, I reckon. Fight a what? I think Yondu is like realizing stuff about himself through looking at Rocket, too. The expansion. Like a business plan. He want to take over all the universe. Grow and spread, covering all that exists. Gosh. Found meaning by turning into a weed. Two celestial. That just might do. Her bodies are his children. Oh my god. Attempting to graft my DNA with that of another species. Oh. Not one of them carried the celestial genes. Tell you, Peter. Gosh. How evil is this guy? The connection to the light. I wonder what he's seeing exactly, you know? Like, we just see his eyes covered, right? We're family. We leave no one behind. There you go, Drax. That is true. Family fights you. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> <Do you? laughs> his honesty he's is so refreshing. So... What is it, son? He's kind of like the thing. He turned into the thing when he got old. <laughs> But my mother said you loved my mother. And that I did. The expansion we did what I had to do. It broke my heart to put that tumor in her head. Jesus Christ. Yeah, his eyes just cleared up right there. That sounds bad. That sounds bad. You can't kill him, right? He immortal. <sighs> Ooh. I feel like he's not even real. He's like a source of energy. You killed my yeah. mother! I tried so hard! <laughs> You'll have to learn by spending the next thousand years as a battery! Jesus. Oh, so he doesn't even need him to go along, right? <gasps> yeah, how dare you? This is the sea. You're not a sailor. You're a crazy psychopath <gasps> god. He got what he wants! Yeah. <laughs> oh, what the Fire hell? Queen. Oh Goodbye, my gosh! Queen. Oh 
Holy. Jackass! <laughs> this man? <laughs> now that's an entrance. That's <laughs> I came back tonight because there's an unspoken thing. There is no unspoken. Speak about the unspoken thing later. Uh, thank you, Rocket. We had it under control. You did? <laughs> Stupid fox. I'm through. I'm not a raboon either. A raboon? Well, once I figured out what happened to them other kids, I wasn't just gonna hand you over. He found out. You were gonna oh, eat. That was being funny. Not to me. That traumatized me. I have issues. <laughs> oh, let him. Let him. So gross and weird. We should be going up! We have to kill it! Got it! How do you kill? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Journey to the center of the earth here. Be able to jack up our prices if we're two time galaxies. True, true. The planets and the buildings and all the animals on the planets <laughs> and the people. People go last. <laughs> yeah, people are last. <laughs> Oh dang, oh dang. The song fits perfectly though. It teaches me how to control the power. So could you? A little. You think when I make this arrow fly, I use my head? Hey, I'm dang, 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 watch when you're driving, <laughs> flying. That ore is thick, Rocket. I like that so much. Yeah, the technology looks so cool. Wow. Dang, one concentrated blast. Remember that Aisha chick? Uh. Oh, hell! <laughs> <laughs> Once again, like a half second warning. Ah, my god, it. Oh. Why aren't you blaring the lasers? They blew out the generator. Oh. A detonator is worthless without explosives. Well, we got these. Nice. Just avoid the millions of ships after you. Make them sleep. I can't. I believe in you. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it! Come on! Sleep! That is super NyQuil. I never thought she'd be able to do it. With as weak and skinny as she appears to be. <laughs> the metal's too thick. So we need to place it on Ego's core. This ain't gonna fit through those tiny holes. Well... Well, how to get you communicate? No, we don't have a lot of time. What a day. Oh. Dang, dang. Now, whatever you do, don't push this button. What do you think it's gonna press? I'm Groot. Uh-huh, that's right. I'm Groot. No! <laughs> I'm Groot. Mm -hmm. I'm Groot. Hey, no, 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 please. <laughs> Which button is the button you're supposed to push? Point to it. No! Put some tape over the death button. I don't have any tape. Don't Let me check. Keep an eye on Groot. Is he really checking? Do you have any tape? Ask Ego, please ask Ego. Did you ask Nebula? Yes. Are you sure? Did hear. Just Yondu and she was sitting right next to <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. Shit, 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 shit. Exactly my point. I Keep an eye on Groot. Oops. Great. <laughs> <laughs> We're all gonna die. Guardians, your deaths are not without purpose. I think the lecture is worse than the death. Don't screw with the sovereign. It's gonna hurt. Whoa. Oh, dang. What was the sovereign's message again? <laughs> oh, face. <laughs> <laughs> it almost looks like Iron Man's laser a little bit. No! <laughs> throw the controller, throw it! <laughs> you loser, bitch. We're gonna blow! Mary Poppins. Is he cool? Hell yeah, he's cool. <laughs> Mary Poppins. We'll have to watch Mary Poppins. <laughs> he, like flies with an umbrella. The sofa, bitch. Ah! Mantis, look out! Too late, bro! <laughs> Is late better than never? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! T minus five minutes! Alright, Captain. So 
so good to have this guy to help yeah. out. Take Mantis! Oh, my nipples! Hi! Oh, dang! Did she come after her to save her or she fell down too? I don't too? know. Oh, nice, nice. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yeah, it's not enough. It's not enough. Yeah. That did pretty good. Oh, that's great. That's great. Yeah. Ah! Oh. 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 That was so close. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on. No, oh. no, 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 no. Time to abandon ship. Run sideways. Sideway how? Oh, this is so me! <laughs> Jump! Ah! <sighs> come on, come on, come on, you can do this. Yes. So bad luck! I know. Use your power. Come on. Like Ultron. Oh dang! He's caught in quicksand. Oh, he's just trying to save Mantis. I mean, how do you escape an entire? Come on! Come on! Come on! Hi! No! The purpose of the universe. It's almost like the mummy, right? Oh yeah! It does look like the mummy. Yes, I mean, people please. would be doing this, but this is so Say. How can they stop him now? Why fight. are you just the fight? Trillions, even more. At this point, so many people die already. I know. I don't use my head. I use my heart. Oh, please don't let him die. He looks worried. You're worried now. Of course, he didn't realize how strong. He killed my mom and squished my Walkman. No! <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Is he letting them go? Cause ego's losing focus. He has to fight Peter now. I think okay. So. He got distracted like last time. <laughs> They're so, so lucky. lucky. They're so lucky. He can continue, continue! Right there, it's right there! Oh, he knows! He knows, he went to- He, he says to press the right button. Uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> no! No, 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 no. Okay, there you go. There you go. <laughs> I mean, Peter's doing great for someone who's practiced for, what, a day? Compared to someone who's practiced for millions of years? You need to take care of the twig! Not without you! I ain't done nothing right my whole damn life, rat. You need to give me this. Aww. He, he did something right. He saved Peter. Yeah, exactly. A space suit and an arrow rig. Have one of each. I am good. Welcome to the frickin' Guardians of the Galaxy. Only he didn't use frickin'. <laughs> <laughs> Baby Groot has a dirty mouth. Bye, Twig. We're gonna need to have a real discussion about your language. <laughs> He learned it from you, Rocket, please. <laughs> Man versus Pac-Man. Where's Peter? Rocket, look at me! Where is he? I'm not leaving without him. I'm sorry. Can only afford to lose one friend today. Yeah. Craglin, go! Where's Quill? Where's Quill? A tough decision, no. Stop it! They need to stop it! He know, he know, he know. It's gonna explode. Yeah, yeah. He can tell it. He can tell. Kill me. You'll be just like everybody else. What's so wrong with that? No! He will lose all the power without a dad. 
Where's your ego Whoa, now? Whoa, the way they do hey. that, though. Leave some help. Yondu, Yondu, where's Yondu? This is his real daddy. I gotta even do none of it right. I'm damn lucky you, my boy. Oh. <laughs> what? No. Don't do that. You can't. Huh. Yondu! As a kid, I used to pretend David Hasselhoff was my dad. Yondu didn't have a talking car, but he did have a flying arrow. He didn't have the beautiful voice of an angel, but he did have the whistle of one. He went on kick-ass adventures and hooked up with hot women. I guess David Hasselhoff did kind of end up being my dad after all. Only it was you, Yondu. I had a pretty cool dad. You're searching for your whole life. It's right there by your side all along. I am good. <laughs> there are little girls like you across the universe who are in danger. You can stay with us and help. I will help them by killing Thanos. You can't do that by yourself. <laughs> Better hug than stepbrothers. You will always be my sister. They only have each other at this point, you know? Especially this girl. <laughs> Captain found this free in a junker shop. 300 songs? Rock could grab the pieces and reassemble them. I think Yondu would want you to have it. Settle down. I am old, but I'm happy. I sent word to Yandu's old ravager buddies. Oh my god, he's such a great man with so many people. How can I try to explain? He didn't let us down after all, Captain. No, he did not. <laughs> he did not. I wish Yondu had been alive to see this. I will see you in the stars. <laughs> he didn't chase him away, even though he yelled at him. No batteries he didn't need. Yeah, who are we talking about here? Well, of course not. <laughs> oh, it's bedtime. That type for group. Sit down, take it slow. What is song in this setting is so sad. I know. It's an unspoken thing. It's beautiful. And so are you. Oh, dang, Greg. Oh on the inside. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Drex is so savage, this movie. Oh my gosh. Even Rocket would understand. He's the only person who understands Rocket, you know. <laughs> gonna take some practice. It's gonna take some practice. Don't kill yourself with it. <laughs> oh, dang! Oh, dang! 
drugs. <laughs> you didn't know anything. Yeah, he's walking away. He's gonna walk away. He wasn't here. <laughs> 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 Rack scream so loud, holy. Oh man, I miss Yondu so much. He's so cool, you know? I know. He was such a good character. He really was. It was really cool, the style. <laughs> a little crazy, you know, the frame. <laughs> that it took the tragedy of losing Yondu to bring us all together again? He'd be proud knowing that we're back as a team. Was this the Expendables? Oh, man. Is the Expendables any good? I've never seen it. Like... What say we steal some shit? <laughs> I wonder if those characters are gonna be in anything. They just sneak in. I am crude sometimes. Oh, okay, really? The council is waiting. They are perturbed. I've wasted our resource. Yes. See what I have created here. They're rock. Nothing, part man? Capable of destroying the guardians of the galaxy. Oh, now she's Tech obsessed. Is so personal. I think I shall call him Adam. Adam? That creepy. Yes. <laughs> what is that thing? It's a birthing, birthing pod. So she created here like a new generation. It's probably more advanced. Okay. But she could be a fun villain to watch, you know? I don't know what movie she would gonna be in. Could be fun, like a little bit how time she is. A little bit so funny, funny, like... <laughs> yeah. A little bit like Loki, like they're angry, but you kind of laugh at them sometimes too. Yeah, like her face expressions when she fell was so fun. Yes, she, she reminds dance. me. She dance. Oh yeah, definitely a dancer. Where's Drax? You can look at that. Now oh, she reminds me of a character from Angel called Lila a little bit. Like this person who's trying to do evil, always losing their temper, always failing. It's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, oh, not dang. You, I'm not used to oh, that. Dang. Yes, yes, me neither. Me neither. <laughs> Is that really Nebula? Is that her standard? Hey, who's that? That's the grandpa, right? Oh, Yondu. Oh. Look, look, yes, yes, I like so that. Good. Okay, that's good. That's consistent. But he's good with me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh look, there's an Iron Cruise! There it is, yes! Oh, I like that. That's a cool little touch of the credits. I like the song. <laughs> 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 I don't know what this is. Dude, you gotta clean up your room. It's a complete mess. It's a teenager of Cruise. <laughs> not boring. You're boring. Tripping over your vines every day. <laughs> not boring. <laughs> and now I know how Yandu felt. Oh. <laughs> Groot has an attitude. I know. So funny. I know. He needs some discipline. Oh, which song do you think we're listening to? One Bam Sang. <laughs> which one? What is that? One Bam Sang. I don't know who's today. I didn't see it. The same cannot be said for handlers of said raccoons and tree creatures. That's really funny. We are Groot. Groot. Who is that? Hey, wait. Where are you going? Hey, you were supposed to be my lift hop. So many more stories to tell. They're like bald, oh, God. strange, cartoonish <laughs> Benny Gesserit. <laughs> <laughs> He's left. That's where he is. This is a, a really cool after credit. That, this might be my favorite credits, I think. Just everything about it. The music, the style, the after credit scenes are really funny. Stan yeah. Lee cameo. They were like... There's a lot of small details they put into this credit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I really like it. I I like when people put that much care and attention in something that most people yeah. probably won't see or notice. Like, yeah. there's something just cool about that. It's just for a few people. I mean, I guess a lot of Marvel fans, it's not that unique to watch the credits. But just a little touch. Even like the I Am Groot. That's a cool little touch. This movie was emotional. The ending was so sad. I mean, Yondu, I, just over all the characters, honestly, I feel like this movie really did what a good sequel does. And like built on them and dove deeper into the characters and who they were and their relationships i really just like what they did with all the main characters and then yondu is like he was a cool character but you know to like see how deep his relationship was with peter and then his whole backstory and him being kicked out of his group and then his obviously his you know emotional sacrifice at the end he's a really great character you know he's a really good character he's a really good person <laughs> Yeah. Like, he's a thief, but he too good to be a thief, almost, because he had just a big heart. Yeah. You know? 
And he made, like, he did make mistakes. He obviously was doing some shady stuff, and he regrets it. But I like that. It's like everyone makes mistakes when they're young, and they are naive, and they are greedy, or whatever the heck. He wasn't, like, some perfect dad for Peter his whole life. But he was there, and he loved him. And... And I think the fact that he hide the truth about Peter's dad from Peter to to keep Peter, you know, to protect happy, him, yeah, to protect him, yeah, and like yeah. show up with this scary guy yeah. all his life that Peter is kind of scared of, you know, yeah. not scared, but like he didn't respect Yondu, like you think Yondu just he didn't he never realized how much Yondu actually cared for him, which. I actually think some really good parents are like that. Like, they have a really hard time expressing how they feel. And they can even scare their kids sometimes. But you look at their actions, and when you get older as a kid, you realize, like, how much they actually care. Even if when you're younger, like, you're like, oh, my dad's so strict, or, you know, they're mean all the time. You know what I mean? Like, I think sometimes you have to grow older like Peter to really realize how much your parent loves you. Especially if it's... You know, kind of a, a more, like, rough-edged love, I guess. I feel like all the characters, like, the way that they express their love is kind of in a tough way. Like, the same could kind of be said for Nebula, for sure. I really like what they did with her character this movie. I feel like I liked her a lot more than the first one. And her whole... The, the way they, like, really built on the... I feel like they just introduced the sibling dynamic in the first movie. But they really fleshed it out, and we learn more about what it was like being raised by Thanos and how they were pitted against each other. It just felt like such a real sister relationship to me, too. It's nice to see, like, in the end, they just broken people. Like, all these people, like, they have something happen in the past. As they all broke it, and yeah. they come together as a group, but, like, they have story. And the sister, she's, you know, show up and she's so angry all the time, but deep down, like, she just hurt because she exactly. doesn't get attention. Exactly. She just, she's just a little jealous, but... I'm, I'm, I feel sad that she couldn't get over that and stay with her. She I do. Like, I do, but I also like how the movie doesn't have her... It would feel almost like it's 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 a gradual progression. Like her character, I, I think it feels more realistic to me that she's like reluctantly know. giving a hug. It's it's gonna take some time for things to be fully mended and to be able to express, you know, your love for your family. I think. Well, I guess unless she understand now. Yeah, exactly. Like I think Gamora genuinely didn't know. Just like with Rocket, like I remember like the dialogue from the first one. I think they they have some line of like we're all losers and that's why we're the guardians and that was kind of their trait in common this one it feels a little bit like same brand but a little bit more deep like they all like you said are just broken people who are dealing with you know family issues and you know pain from their life and they take it out on each other like a lot of families they bicker and they fight but they're all just in pain and they're all just scared and that's really how people cope in a lot of ways it doesn't mean that they don't care yeah, I think we can also we all also see like people who didn't get to grow up having a family, like a regular happy family. Yeah, have a really hard time expressing themselves. That's a really good point. Yeah, yeah. Yondu, Peter, Rocket. They all none of them had a good yeah, home and a they, good family life have, as kids. You're right. Even, yeah. The sisters, all of them, basically. Yeah, they, 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 that's they, so true. They're such good people, and they care about each other so much. But for them to say it to each other, it's like something so hard for them to do because they're not used to doing that. That's so true. Yeah, like they were never shown how to express love as kids, and they never got yeah. love. So as adults, they feel love, but they don't know how to express it properly. They were never taught. They're never shown by good parents. But I love also how all the characters... None of their parents were good, right? Am I forgetting anyone? Maybe Drax's parents were good, but most of them weren't. Like, definitely not Gamora, definitely not Peter, definitely not Yondu. But they're able to break the cycle. Like, instead of, like, their kids being broken, they're able to, in a flawed, imperfect way, change. You know, and not yeah. be like their parents. It's pretty hopeful. And I think all of them, they act tough, and they 
afraid to connect with the other person. Yeah. Because they worry, you know, because they don't know if it's gonna last. They don't want to get hurt again. Exactly. So they just exactly. Like, they care, but they kind of push people away from them a little bit. Yeah. Just to, to protect themselves. Yeah, it's like a defense mechanism from yeah. getting hurt. You know. I like this a lot. This movie is a lot more. I like the first one, but this one. I think I might like this one more like, because. It's going to the depth of the character so much more. Yeah. And getting to see, like, understand everybody's background, you know? Yeah. And I feel for them more and connected them way more after this one. Yeah, I think so, too. Like, I think this one was fun, like the first one. But the emotional punches hit me way harder than yeah. the first one. And it, it helps that we we know the characters, so we don't have to introduce them again. Like, we're building on them the way a good sequel does. But I really think this movie did it right for, um, you know, how to expand and dive deeper into the dynamics between the characters and their relationships. What did you think of Ego, Kurt Russell? I like to see him on screen because I like that actor. Yeah, me too. I think he did a good job in this one. Like, he, you know... I got kind of got tricked too at the beginning. Yeah. He did this good because as much like Peter fall for his trick, like if you pay attention to him, you can see like he's not uh, sincere. Yeah, there's always like so the like, way he acted, like, you could feel the, like everything felt a little bit off. The right? actor does a good job of like deliver that in a way that like if you're somebody who emotional like Peter who like desperate for that, yeah. you would fall for it. But if you yeah. step back a little bit, it feel like it's really cool like the way he delivered line, just like obviously like, he's a little insincere with the way he talks. Yeah, there's like something off yeah. behind the feelings in his words or something. But that is good. That's all conveyed in the acting, which is really good. I think anyone named Ego, are they going to be a good character? They named himself? I don't know. I assume, like, what would be more fitting than naming yourself Ego? I mean, that says it all right there. But do you think... I don't know, actually. He is, like, a source of energy or what he... Like, what kind of living form is his? Like, he can... I mean, he was the planet. Like, I, I believe he, he genuinely was a god. And then as a god, he learned to create. And he made himself into the planet. And then he also, like, shaped a human form. But I think he was the planet. That's why when they destroyed the core of the planet and the planet exploded, mm -hmm. he's dead. Right? I think. I mean, he reminds me of, like, a Greek god. You know, like, if you read any of the Greek mythology or just know from pop culture like zeus is so selfish just off having a million kids not giving a crap cheating on his wife it's like he would fit right in it's like you're some like you're a god but you're so small-minded and petty and jealous and you know insecure but there's some a lie that uh he said to peter that i think really meaningful is that because he has such power when yeah. he fight live it's like nothing fulfill him Everything is below him, you know. Yeah. The human life or other life in other universes or galaxies, like he's like feel like he's the ultimate. Like he doesn't die, he have all this power, so he doesn't get satisfied. Exactly. I don't know why that would make you want to destroy everything else. I mean if you want to read into the symbolism of the name ego, I might just be trying to find too much deep meaning in it maybe it's just a character in the comics i have no idea but if you go look at it like you know trying to find satisfaction in your life by you know adding things to your ego like wealth and success that also is a, a lost cause you're never gonna fill a hole inside you by achieving things or getting money or getting success like if you just care about yourself and your ego you're always going to be unfulfilled but i think that's so true like i bet if ego had succeeded and taken over everything he wouldn't be happy like there's no way there's no way he would find peace i think like when he was talking about being alone when he was first created he seemed lonely so i think he had real feelings but his idea of or his you know, I don't know what drugs he was doing for millions of years. His his breakthrough epiphany was, I need to conquer everything and take over the universe. That'll give me fulfillment, right? Yeah, and he did say that he loved Peter's mom. And I think he, he did, did in a twisted way, obviously. But I he like when he was saying that, he seemed very sincere. But I think he looks at himself maybe above other creatures so no, much. It's just feel... like... The way I take it from the song and then from what he's talking to Peter, 
I think he started out with a purpose. Uh huh. About destroying or finding life or whatever the purpose was. Yeah. I don't know if he wanted to find life first or he the whole time he just wanted himself to try to destroy the universe. But he met Peter Mom on the in the journey of that, and he fell in love. But his purpose for him is greater than her. Like the sailor in the so, song. Yeah. So okay. he 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 doesn't belong to Earth or that short model life. Yeah. So he has to still like sacrifice that. So so super sure his purpose. Do you think he was telling the truth when he said that the reason he killed her was because he might lose focus on his purpose because he was so happy with her? Because remember he said he visited Earth yeah. three times and he's like I would have stayed and done a fourth, but instead I killed her, right? That's pretty. That's pretty horrific. But that's pretty tragic too, because that must mean he almost gave it up. Like imagine if he had just done that and he, given up his he purpose he could because she would get old and she would die and he would leave and he can still do it after she dies that's true too it's like just wait a little bit yeah. she's mortal you've been alive millions of years how much is 40 years it's like two seconds for you so what the hell so what was wrong with him <laughs> you what's his excuse you live millions of years and you can't live with this woman for like a hundred years yeah she doesn't see the most people don't live a hundred years old. What's the great line in Constantine when he's? This is such a random reference, but when he when Lucifer comes up to collect his soul and he's like tells him like your son is in the other room. He's like I don't believe you. He's like you've waited like forty something years for me. What's another twenty seconds? Yeah. Why can't I say that to Ego? You've waited millions of years. Wait twenty seconds. Live your happy life with Peter's mom. He really couldn't wait another year. He had to give her brain like to give her brain cancer. Like, come on. How could he have loved her? It's a little bit hard for me to wrap my mind around that right there. Right. I'd love to know if people like have an explanation or or know from the character in the comics. Maybe he think that his purpose, like the meaning, he said he found a meaning. I still don't know what the meaning is to him. Like, destroy everything is the meaning. Yeah, just take over. That was his meaning. Like, you created things and you destroy everything. But... I think because he has the meaning, he doesn't he he doesn't want to feel like he failed doing that by staying with the mom. Like if he stay on Earth, who's I judging him? Know. The other gods, <laughs> like himself. Okay, he's highly self-critical. He has so many versions of himself, though. Oh, he go one at a time. I think he well, I think he was doing multiple versions to expand, but I think if he took them all over, it would just be one big celestial god, right? I think that's my understanding of how it all worked. But yeah, not a great dad. Not a great dad. He killed so many of his babies. I know. like Stuff like that where it's like, okay, you're more than just a callous higher being. You're evil. I mean, obviously, I'm stating the obvious. But you know what I mean? Like the ability to just not care one bit. Maybe he was scared. Maybe tying into the theme of the movie. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The theme of everyone being scared to express their emotions because they're so broken. Maybe ego is like a horrific version of that where because he w- he felt genuine love with Peter's mom as opposed to all the other creatures he like mated with. Maybe he was scared of that. And so he's like, shoot, I'm not used to this feeling where I don't feel in control. Kill this mortal. He lived millions of years with lies. He lied to how many people? different individuals i know and then just killed them not only did you not give me a son or whatever he's looking for offspring but it's not it's not part of me i mean that that is very fitting for ego it's like all he cared about even in his children was seeing himself in them i feel like some parents are actually like that they have kids because they want to see a younger version of themselves and live through that person's youth and like success but you know? he also needs the power to destroy the planet so. yeah that's true it was also very self-serving <laughs> he, he does need to work like for someone who's been around for billions of years just a little word of advice maybe work on your sales pitch for you know getting your son to join in don't start with i killed your mom with brain cancer like just maybe skip that i part. know right maybe skip he it got peter to like fall for this beautiful thing that yes. he created, and then you tell the truth yeah like that's a little stupid. Did you turn into Drax maybe in that he moment? He doesn't have a, uh, an advisor. He needs one. He needs, he needs one. one. He spent too much time that, alone. That's the problem of being alone. Yes. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. All he had was Mantis, like putting him to sleep. He had no one to like tell him, like maybe don't do that. It's interesting that he saved Mantis. Or did he save her because 
she can put him to sleep. I think I th- I think like Drax said, he literally saved her to use her as a pet. Like she was useful to him. And you know, like anyone who is delusional and narcissistic, he probably is telling himself, like, no, I'm saving these poor creatures. I'm taking over the galaxy because I'm better for them. This is the purpose, you know. But you could just tell how completely morally beyond out of touch he is when he told Peter about killing his mom. You know, like, he seems shocked that Peter would be upset and that he wouldn't understand. Yeah. He he obviously doesn't understand emotion much. Yeah. Also, but the fact that he can't sleep, though, I mean, maybe he struggles. That's a really interesting point. Maybe somewhere deep down he does realize he's a terrible, you know, god. Not keep him up at night. Yeah. Guilty conscience. Mm-hmm. Somewhere. Somewhere. Plus, I love how he just literally turned into the thing. It's like some creature who only cares about himself and survival and wants to replicate and spread to take over and is extremely difficult to beat. It's like, that's ego. That's yeah, right there. And then we have the answer for the ending of the thing. Them stopping it, or that's what would have them t- it taking Peter over. The one who get taken over. Oh, he's the he's the, he's the thing. He's the thing. They move. They they leave the earth after. Oh, okay, okay. Go back. That's yeah, he was a little less disgusting in this one, but that would have maybe he, given this a he hard will, R. He get advanced. Yeah, yeah. He he like he cleaned up his image a little bit. At he's like I don't end, need though, the the spider head. At the look. end when he died looked creepy. Yeah, I did like that, the effect. That really looked really scary. And I like how he turned into dust. I feel like that could have some meaning of like, you know, remember man, you're going to return into dust. It's like that Bible quote. It's like, it's a very mortal thing to turn into dust. So for a god to turn into dust, it's mm-hmm. like, that's some good irony. That's a good fitting end. Plus, he was such a coward in his death. I love that too. You know, he's You're like, begging, please, begging. please, stop. I'm like, very, very noble. Like, okay, so we don't have the we five for no good trades in there. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> we tried. <laughs> After we analyze it yeah. for 30 minutes. You're pure minutes. evil. You're pure evil. Okay. Oh, oh he's gosh. He's an empty soul. <laughs> but Drax is amazing. Drax was so funny. He was so savage. He was so insulting to Mantis, but... It's so him because he can't so lie. It's so him. I know. It's so him. It's, it's amazing. Every time he says something, it's hilarious. And his laugh was good in the first movie, but his laugh was so great. And I it know. also sounded natural. Like, Dave Bautista, like, did a good job. Like, his... Drax laughed. It felt so genuine. It's like it made me laugh. This guy is having so much fun. It's the the actor does an amazing job at Drax because I watch him. I feel like I watched a real Drax, not yes. on screen. Like, yeah, you forget he's yeah, an you actor performing. You're just like you're just buying like, that this is who this guy is. Yeah, yeah. it's so good. It's, it's so convincing. I like him a lot. I like what they did with Peter and Gamora too. They focused on their romance, but not. They didn't make it overly romantic, if that makes sense. Like, it feels like, like a that. natural like progression that. where they're friends, but they didn't start dating, but they both kind of know there's something, but because they're both kind of scared, they never make that step. I could see that happening, right? There's relationships that happen like that. I like that they don't make them a couple immediately because, you know, in the first one, they they did feel a little, like, rushed into it. Yeah, it was fast. It was fast. Fast. Like, love from first sight. I think, too, like, I think she see him, like, his personality a little floaty. So I think that. I think oh, we saw that. Yeah, concerned. with the golden lady. Yeah, a little reluctant because of that, too. Yeah. There's some dirty jokes in there, right? There's some dirty jokes. This one had dirtier jokes than the first one, for sure. I like the directing in this one a little bit more, too. I just feel like it felt a little bit more polished. I like the color. I'm sure this one had a higher budget because the first one was successful. But I think they did a good job with that money. Like, I could see it, some of the effects, some of the different worlds. The the designs of the different planets, like, of Ego's technology felt pretty unique for sci-fi stuff. Like, I like how it shaped and, like, formed different things and moved around. The color is good. Like you said, it's really colorful. Yeah. I like music. Yeah, the music they was good. Once good again, music. the music was really, really good. I think I I enjoyed part of me enjoying this movie because of the music. Like, the choice. Oh, 100%. Like, it's so unique. Like, you hear, like, soft music in the background of fight scene. It's so unique. Yeah. Like, it feels good. Like, it's so different than a normal fight scene with intense kind of music. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a, a, a contrast. There's a term, but I don't remember what it is for that technique. <laughs> I try to sound smart, but I don't remember anything. So instead, I'm just, this is the real me. Dumb. <laughs> I 
cut it out and uh. then put the audio in after. Oh yes, <laughs> I'll dub over like that is this. <laughs> <laughs> And then I'll show something on the screen like you oh, say yes, it. Yes, but it's not. yes, yes. <laughs> Cover it up. This technique of cinema where you use a slow song with an action scene. I think my favorite scene was the scene where Yondu and Rocket I, broke out. Me too. Wasn't that so cool? It's so cool. I love it. I like. I know, like people, they do that a lot in movie with the technique when the music and a little slow motion with like a character walking. Yeah. But it feels so much with that scene. Yeah, that, it works so much. It was executed better. perfectly. Yeah. So, so a lot. You're right. Like a lot of movies try to do that, and it's just okay. Or like you've seen it before. But the way they did it with the song, yeah. the effects, his arrow, like Yondu's walk, like it just worked amazingly. It was the perfect way to do that, like badass walk. Like it wasn't try hard at all. It was just so cool. That's I, I it was so really good. Fun. It was so, really so good. Much fun. Yeah, they did a really good job with the sequel. All right, that is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two. Love to hear your thoughts about this sequel in the comments down below. Did you like this one better? Did you like the first one better? I know there's a third Guardians of the Galaxy. We're definitely excited to see that, even though it's a long ways away. I think in the watch order, I don't think we're going to see that for a bit. As always, you want to watch along the full reaction that's up on Patreon, and of course, it's also where you can watch Spider-Man: Homecoming that's available for early access. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, remember be active, be mindful, and be a hero.